So today let's talk about fixed blades. Uh, specifically, we're gonna be talking about this uh, Spartan Harsey TT model. This is the Tactical Trout fixed blade designed by Bill Harsey. So this particular uh, configuration that we have here, well, before I get into that, let's just undo an unboxing. So it's got the, uh, the knife previously was already within this bubble wrap and I had originally taken this out. They've included the um, catalog and then of course the manufacturer sticker. So I'll set this aside. So uh, as I was saying, they come in different flavors. So this one is uh, black handle and then the uh, PVD coated black blade, and then the PVD uh, sheath. And then this here is same thing, but uh, same knife but um, a little bit different spec. So this one's got the kind of a Digicam um, sheath and also handle and kind of a, let's see, kind of a, how would I describe that? Kind of coyote tan uh, blade. So this is the, again, the tactical trout. Uh, let's just get these sheaths out of the way. Well, first let me show you the backside. So the backside's got, you know, some Velcro lining, and there is you know, space here. So if you were to open this up all the way, you could put this on the on your um, your belt and then have this hanging on the side, or you could attach this to your backpack or go bag. So you know, really well made, made in the states. Got a button lock here. Just absolutely beautiful, practical, and awesome. So the overall length uh, is nine inches and the blade length's about four and a half inches. I will leave the specs down below, just above the comment section. So here we have the kind of a dagger style blade. It's got the Harsey TT for tactical trout. Beautiful, beautiful milling pattern on the handle. And this is, it got the full tang. Let's see the other side here. So here have the Spartan Blades logo, made in the USA, S45BN steel. Got the handles. So right away, we can tell that it's got the indexing here for your two primary fingers and then your thumb so you could really grip this. And this feels very comfortable. This is about a Probably a mid-size uh, fixed blade is how I would describe this. Feels just awesome. <clears throat> very, very natural. Um, kind of like where you could put your thumb up against here if you are indeed trying to do some cutting or you could just simply grip it and go to town. So that's the blacked out version. And let's look at this one here. Beautiful coloring. You know, this is almost kind of got like a, a jungle, you know, uh, feel to it. If you'd be out in the jungle carrying this, it would blend well, especially with the kind of the camouflage, either jungle or forest, um, kind of like pine woods area. Both of them come with the lanyard, as you can see here. And let's flip this around. So got the logo, made in the USA, S45B and steel. So this primarily used either for tactical self-defense purposes or if you're a bushcrafter, you could use this out in the woods. So let's do a size comparison. I have two other uh, Spartan blades. Let's take a look. I've got the uh, Horcros one. Okay, let's just move this up here so we can do a size comparison. So, got the Horcross, and let's just put this all in order. There we go. And then I have the uh, Ronin Shintu fixed blade as well. So, these two are more comparable in line. So, right away, you can tell with these two blades, they have a larger choil. So, if you're gripping it up closer, you can do that can't really do that on the TT model. So what I like about this, to me, this would be the perfect size if I were using this 
you know, for self-defense, if fixed blades were the only place, you know, allowed uh, in your state or country or wherever, you know, just got a nice practical purpose. So anyway, so I'm going to leave the specs down below, a little description on this particular knife. If you're wondering, these go for uh, 350 They're made in uh, North Carolina, made in the States. And um, just overall, they've got an excellent balance to it as well. And just has an overall great, great feel to it. I love this knife. And um, this is something I would carry if I were out in the outdoors camping perhaps you know just got a nice feel to it and this it, it's so well built i would definitely feel comfortable if i had to use this like for batoning purposes or um you know for any other outdoor use as well so anyway let us know what you think do you happen to own one if you do i'd love to know uh get some feedback uh from what you think about it overall uh pluses and minuses let us all know what you think um please participate uh, share some thoughts. Do you have a particular fixed blade that you like uh, for us to review, or do you have one that you, you know, carry? Is it a Benchmade? Is it another Spartan blade that we don't have here on the table? Um, let us know what type of fixed blade that you like to carry, one that's kind of like your go-to that you would take, you know, to the end of the earth that you would die with. Um, that's just been an all-around awesome fixed blade that uh, you've been happy with, or are you still in pursuit of that you know, the best fixed blade that's got to be out there. I would love to know your thoughts. So please leave a comment. Please hit the subscribe button. Give us a like. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all take care.